Hi my beauties, welcome back to my beauties big sister channel. I'm just kind of chilling on the floor right now, but I am going to be talking you through all of my favourite products right now. So yeah, if you want to hear what I'm loving, then just keep on watching. So one of my favourite lip balms right now is this beautiful little compact from Lipsol. The packaging is so gorgeous, it's got a really handy mirror in there, so it's so perfect for on the go. The formula has sheer butter, cocoa butter and vitamin E in it, so it's super hydrating and helps keep my lips super moisturized as well. What's also amazing about this balm is that it has SPF 15 in it as well, so it really does help to keep your lips protected against UVA and UVB rays. And it's also got aloe vera in the formula to help repair damaged lips as well. So I just pop it on my lips like this, and it's just so nice and hydrating, and it has such a gorgeous scent as well. I've been using this balm pretty much like every day. It just helps to keep your lips so healthy, and it's just the perfect little compact to keep in your handbag. So I've been using that underneath all the lip products that I've been using. Using. So these are the two lipsticks that I'm loving right now. This is the Bobbi Brown Art Stick in the shade Bear, and it is the most perfect nude ever. Like, can you see that? It's such a gorgeous, warm nude, and it's so easy to apply. So I just pop it on top like this. Love how it's a beautiful, like chunky lipstick. So it kind of outlines your lips as well as filling them in at the same time. So they look a little bit bigger. It's just so easy to apply, like you don't even need a mirror for this. See, if you are putting the lip balm on underneath the lipstick, then you just get this beautiful little shine, which I love. Another lipstick, which I've been loving. I picked up another one of these at the airport. So this is a brand new one. This is in the shade number 47. And this is the YSL Rouge Volupt Shine Lipstick. When I say this is the most beautiful lipstick ever, I mean it. So this one is a lot more pinky and rosy and a lot more sheer so you can see that that's just really really glossy whereas this is super pigmented and matte this honestly is the most beautiful buttery lipstick i have ever ever tried it glides on so gorgeous let me pop it on top so you can kind of see it smells like watermelon which is just a real bonus <laughs> for an everyday lipstick i think this will always now be my go-to because it just feels so so nice on the lips and so many of my friends are now hooked on this lipstick as well if you watch my charlotte tilbury pillow talk testing video you will know that i quickly fell in love with the new pillow talk blush this blush is beautiful i've got it on now it gives the most gorgeous rosy pillow talk shade to your lips which i absolutely love i'm not really into bright blushes so if you like more of a muted more of like an english rose kind of look then this is amazing. The highlight in the middle, I haven't used that much, but it is a really nice subtle highlight if you want to wear that just like day to day, but it's really this blusher shade that's got me hooked. Also from Charlotte Tilbury, the Flawless Filter. I've talked about this maybe like one million times, but I love this product. It looks so gorgeous on the skin. I'm loving it underneath my foundation for an added glow, but also on its own. Like when I'm working from home or if I'm just running errands, this is the product that I'll wear. It just gives you such a gorgeous glow like underneath your skin. Not underneath your skin, but like underneath your makeup. You know what I mean. For the face, Dior Backstage, I mean, one, their packaging is just beautiful, but two, these highlights are stunning. So if I want a super, super glowy look and I don't just want it like here, how we've got it now, if I want it kind of all over for an overall glowy look, then this is the palette that I'll use. These are super pigmented. I'm loving the strobe in the inner corner of the eye. Then you've got more of the, the pinky blush, and then the bronzy shade, which is so nice to just deepen things up. And then that beautiful champagne gold as well. It's just a really, really nice highlight palette. Super, super pigmented. So as I say, if I'm going super extra, super glowy, this is the palette that I'm using right now. If I want more of a precise highlight, like I've got here, this is what I have been using. I've yeah, pretty much been using this every day. It's the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop. I have never come across a more pigmented highlight ever. I used to wonder how other bloggers and YouTubers used to like literally make their highlight glow in a photo because mine didn't normally show up in a photo. 
This is the secret. So when I take a photo with flash, this will be booming. So if you want that real highlighted look, I would so recommend the Becca Champagne Pot. It really is such a beautiful, like, champagne-y shade. And I've also been obsessed with putting it on the inner corner of my eye as well. This is Sainsbury's new and improved makeup range. I know, Sainsbury's. Like, I will definitely do more of a dedicated video towards this because they've got a whole new and improved makeup range. But this was a standout to me when I went to their launch. And this is the Boutique Convertible Eye and Cheek Jelly. Now I haven't been using this so much on my cheeks, but definitely on my eyes. I've been loving this jelly. So I'll just pop it here so you can see that there. It looks amazing, topped over pretty much any eyeshadow that you've got, like a brown or a, or a nude shade, or even if you just want to wear it on its own, blends out so gorgeous. It's really wearable. It doesn't feel too like heavy on the lids, but oh, it's just so gorgeous. I think this is like two or three pounds, something like that, but oh, look at that. To be honest, I think that would even look amazing on the body as well. Let's move on to skincare. So, da da, so glamorous. <laughs> is the U45 cream. I'm pretty sure that all of you would have heard of this product before, but I just love it. Like, I went for a period of time without using it, and then my skin kind of flared up. I noticed it was really bumpy underneath the skin. It was more textured than normal. So something had irritated it. I don't really know what it was, but I just stripped it back, and I went straight back to my E45 cream. I love this stuff so, so much. See, you can put this anywhere. It is the most gentle cream you can ever use. It's super, super sensitive. So no matter how much your skin kind of irritates, this is just a staple for me. And I would definitely recommend that every girl just has it in their collection because if your skin does flare up, this is the best thing to calm it down. So yeah, I have always got a pot of this like handy at the side and I feel like it's really got my skin back to a really good place. So taking off my makeup, I've been testing this out lately and I love it. I can definitely see what the hype is about this product. So this is the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. What you do is like dip your finger in and get a little bit of the product out and it's a balm, but then once you rub it in between your fingers and pop it on your face, it then becomes an oil, so it kind of melts away your makeup, which is beautiful. I've seen so many YouTubers use this, and now I know what the hype is about, because it really is amazing at removing every scrap of makeup, but it just feels gorgeous on the skin as well. Because it's an oil-based product, it just really intensely moisturizes and hydrates. And then body-wise, oh, I love Sol de Janeiro products so much their products are amazing so this is the moisturizing shower cream gel i have popped this in videos before but this is super super hydrating so if you're a bit lazy like me with remembering to moisturize your body this is a great shower gel because it kind of moisturizes for you but the best thing about it is the pistachio scent it's just unbelievable i know i talk about this scent so much but it's my favorite scent like sunny had a shower the other day and i'd walked in and i was like Oh, he's like been spraying like some air freshener or some really nice perfume or something. And then I realized that it was literally, he just had a shower and used this shower gel. It smells so good. If you haven't tried the scent, just go in store and smell it. Um, but if you do want to try it, they now have it in like travel sizes as well. I think a travel size is a really good way of trying the product out and seeing what the hype is all about rather than diving straight into the full size but it's really good never normally include this kind of thing in a favorites video but this has changed my life normally i have all my makeup in my makeup bag all spilling out and it's just a mess it's chaos and i can't even close the bag so it's constantly all falling out so this is amazing the only thing i don't like about it is that it is like a material makeup bag so it is getting quite dirty quite quickly which is kind of annoying but this is amazing so this is from benefit as you can see you've got the handles which i love for carrying about and then you unzip these 
is so good for going away, traveling. Then you've got it going lengthways. You can hang it up like in your bathroom or behind like your door or something, which is really handy. And then you've got the two sections with both of your zips here as well. So this has seriously organized my life. I know that I can just like pick this up and I've got everything I need. I don't need to worry if I've left something behind or if something's at the bottom of my handbag because it didn't fit. Everything fits in here. Even my makeup brushes fit in there. So yeah, I am seriously loving this bag. Then we have, Oh, my favorite favorite of all time, which is my OPI X Beauty's Big Sister collaboration. If you missed the collaboration, I will link the video up here so you can go and see it. But this is available on QVC now. And all my favorite lacquers of all time are in this collection. So six of my favorite shades, the deal on this is amazing. I'm not sure if they put the pricing up from the introductory price that it was at the beginning, but it was £32 and you literally save like £50 worth of value. So each of these are worth £13.50 if you bought them directly from OPI. My pins and needles are real right now. <sighs> then perfume. So two of my favorite perfumes right now is the Juicy Couture We. Firstly, I just love the packaging. I've always loved Juicy Couture perfumes. So I know whenever they bring out a new one that I'm gonna love it, but this one is beautiful. So the hero ingredient in this is water lemon. So it's a mix between watermelon and lemon. <laughs> That was a mouthful. But this bottle really does remind me of like juicy watermelons. It's a very fresh scent. As I said, love the bottle. It's just a beautiful, really fresh, uplifting scent. So I've been wearing this during the day. This is like my daytime fragrance right now. And then my nighttime fragrance is the Juicy Bloom, but it's the new one. So it's the Nectar de Foire. I love these bottles. They look so chic and sophisticated. This kind of like millennial pink is so on trend right now. I'm mixing perfumes, but this one, this one is my nighttime one. So this is my go-to evening scent right now. This is beautiful. It's a floral scent, but what I love about this one is it's a lot more deeper. So you can really smell the musk and the sandalwood in this. Go-to scents right now. Scents for the home. Audi hooked a girl up. <laughs> I went to Audi and I've heard so much about their fragrances and I love a certain pomegranate noir. Scent. This is basically the same. So this is from Audi, number three, pomegranate. I got the luxury room spray and the luxury reed diffuser. Now I bought Primark diffusers, popped them all around the home. And then I noticed that actually I couldn't really smell them and they went so quickly. So after getting this, I've kind of been able to compare them. And this Audi one is so much better because it's just lasted for so much longer. And when I go into a room, I can smell it. But if I really want to amp up the scent, so when people come over, I basically just drench the flat in this pomegranate luxury room spray. It smells so good. Just go into store and smell it. It's a beautiful, very warm, musky kind of scent. Yeah, this is what my house smells of right now. So guys, that's my main favorites right now. I definitely want to film these videos more because my favorites change a lot because I'm always testing new products. These are the products that I am loving right now. If you've got any questions about anything, please let me know in the comments below and I'll get straight back to you. And if you have got any video suggestions, please let me know because yeah, I'm able to film videos pretty much whenever I want now, um, like any time. It's just so nice to be in my own flat and to be able to just work around my own schedule. So if there are any videos that you want me to film, please, please let me know and I will see you in my next video. Bye.